Today I'm going to show you how to replace the propeller on a Yamaha 25 horsepower outboard, although this process is pretty similar for most boats. As you can see, this propeller badly needs to be replaced. So to start, I'm just going to remove the cotter pin that holds the nut on with a pair of needle nose pliers. So with the pin out, the next step is to take the nut off. And if we were to just grab the nut and spin it, the propeller would spin with it as well. So I'm going to use just a block of wood here. I'm going to prop it between the propeller and the anti-cavitation plate to keep the propeller from spinning. And then I can just grab the nut with a pair of channel lock pliers and break it free. So with the nut broken free, I can just use my hand to take it the rest of the way off. It looks in good condition, so I'm going to reuse it in my installation of the new prop. So I'm going to put it somewhere safe, as well as this washer that goes under it. I'm going to reuse that as well, so putting it with the nut. And now we're ready to take the prop off. It should slide right off, and it might bring these pieces of hardware with it. This is a thrust washer on the back. And on the front here, my propeller has a spacer. You may or may not have this spacer, but definitely important to keep both of those for the installation of our new prop. And while the prop is off, I'm just gonna give a quick visual inspection, make sure nothing's blocking my exhaust ports, nothing's wrong with the propeller shaft seal, and that no fishing line or anything like that is wrapped around the prop shaft. Your prop should have what size it is stamped on the back, so just be sure to check that before buying a new one if you're not sure. So I'm starting with a freshly greased prop shaft, and I'm just going to reinstall all the hardware in reverse order of how it came off. So starting with the thrust washer, it does matter which direction this goes on, so if you can't remember how it came off, be sure to check your manual. So I've just pushed that thrust washer all the way to the base of the prop shaft up against the seal. I'm going to make sure it's snugly on there, and then I'm ready to put the propeller itself back on. Um, make sure that the splines line up, and then it should just slide right on. Next, I'm going to slide my spacer back on. Like I said, you may or may not have one of these, depending on your model of boat and propeller. But if you do have one, make sure you check the orientation of how it goes on, because it does matter. And now that it's on, I'm going to put the washer back on as well. And then we're ready for the nut to go on and cap it off. Once that nut gets finger tight, the prop is going to want to spin again, so I'm going to reuse my wood block trick here while I tighten it the rest of the way with the channel locks. My manual says 25 foot-pounds on this nut. A good estimation of that is to get it finger tight, then keep going until one of the notches in the nut lines up with the hole for your cotter pin. And speaking of the cotter pin, this is the old cotter pin. We don't want to reuse that because it's been bent several times. And if it were to fail, you could lose your prop and be stranded. So this is a new cotter pin that I'm just going to slide in. And once it's in, I'm just using my channel locks. You can use any pliers here to bend the ends to the kind of the profile of that nut. This will keep the nut from coming off when the prop is spinning. But that's all there is to it, changing the prop on this Yamaha 25 horsepower outboard motor. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.